NASA just revealed the terrifying truth inside the Great Spot. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is another distinctive feature, in addition to the fact that it is the largest planet in our solar system. The large storm known as the Great Red Spot has been wreaking havoc on Jupiter for many years. It has been spotted swirling on Jupiter ever since the 1830s, and it still is. This storm has decreased in recent years in comparison to its size during the early observations. It still dwarfs Earth by a factor of roughly 1.3 though. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at what's lurking inside the great spot of Jupiter. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. And let's get started. Jupiter is the largest and most massive member of the solar system's eight planets, and it dominates the group. Among the outer planets are Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, with Jupiter being one of those. In terms of its own system, Jupiter, which is the fifth planet from the Sun, is amazing. 79 moons orbit this gas giant. The intriguing minor planets, known as Trojan asteroids, also orbit it in a similar orbit. Along with these things, the Great Red Spot, the planet's ruler, is also experiencing a significant event. A huge storm known as the Great Red Spot is situated 22 degrees in Jupiter's southern hemisphere. It is an anticyclone with the wind circling around a high pressure center. With a rotational period of around seven Earth days, the storm travels counterclockwise. Let's put the size of the Earth into perspective in order to understand just how large this storm is. The Great Red Spot is approximately 16,350 kilometers across, while the diameter of the Earth is 12,742 kilometers. This suggests that this giant vortex can fit around 1.3 Earths. When it was first noticed, around the middle of the 1800s, it was thought that the storm could swallow up about three Earths. The Great Red Spot is therefore getting smaller. This storm's rotation period has likewise shrunk over time as a result of its lesser size. However, despite years of observation, there is still a lot to discover about this enormous storm. Between 1665 and the start of 1700, a spot was seen on Jupiter. The Great Red Spot has been active for more than 300 years, assuming that that is the same storm. That it was the same location, nevertheless, is not supported by any solid evidence. September 1831 marked the beginning of official observations of the Jupiter spot. Continuous monitoring started after that in 1878. Between the northern and southern atmospheric belts of Jupiter, there is the Great Red Spot. When compared to the southern band, the northern band is traveling in an easterly direction. The huge storm was created by these diametrically opposed links, which have kept it going for centuries. It occasionally eats lesser storms as well, which keeps it spinning and increases its strength. This storm gets smaller and taller according to observations from the late 1870s. It penetrates the atmosphere of the enormous planet more than 320 kilometers deep. This means that it reaches much farther than any storm on Earth, which is around 15 kilometers from top to bottom. Over time, the red spot has also evolved into a darker orange hue. Although enormous storms have been seen on other planets, none have lasted as long as the Jupiter Red Spot. The Great Dark Spot of Neptune and the Great White Spot of Saturn serve as examples. 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator is where the Great Red Spot is situated. Looking at images of the planet, we can see it clearly as a reddish oval in the gas giant's southern hemisphere. Not alone in Jupiter's upper atmosphere does this swirling storm take place. It goes deeper at a distance of around 500 kilometers from the cloud tops, as NASA's Juno probe has shown. Since ancient times, people have been aware of Jupiter since it is the third brightest object in our night sky behind the Moon and Venus. Given that it has an apparent magnitude of minus 2.2, it's difficult to overlook. Jupiter is clearly seen in the sky, yet it wasn't until 1610 that the gas giant was observed in detail. A telescope that was more sophisticated than the telescope of his day was created by the well-known Italian scientist Galileo Galilei. The four main moons of Jupiter that he could see as it turned toward him were Io, Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede. Jupiter is a fascinating target for astronomy investigations because of the Great Red Spot. Astronomer Samuel Heinrich Schwabe created the first in-depth illustration of this storm in 1831. Since then, the red spot has been the subject of numerous observations. 
A spot on the planet was also seen by Giovanni Cassini in the earlier years, in 1665. Although astronomers are unable to confirm it, he described it as a permanent point. It might be the same storm. The permanent place was actually not all that permanent. The Great Red Spot was last noticed in 1713 and first observed again in the 1830s. If these events are occurring at the same site, it is challenging to prove due to the lengthy distance between observations. The first red representation of the huge Jupiter storm appeared in 1711. It was shown in a Donato Creti painting that is currently housed in the Vatican Museums. The Jovian storm had not previously been depicted in color. The Great Red Spot still raises many unanswered concerns, one of which is, why is it red? Its crimson hue's origin still remains a great mystery. Scientists believe it has something to do with the molecules that surround the planet, mainly ammonia, after conducting laboratory studies to test their theory. This is also influenced by cosmic rays, a type of radiation that is consistently present in space. Ammonia makes up the upper atmosphere of Jupiter, and ammonium sulfide clouds make up the lower atmosphere. The bottom layer of clouds is formed by water. These three unite to make white clouds that, when exposed to radiation, divide into molecules that can then be combined to create compounds with the red appearance. Journeys to Jupiter The first flyby of Jupiter was performed in 1973 by Pioneer 10. A completely new perspective on Jupiter and its system was revealed as a result. Among other things, this flyby captured images of the Galilean moon and the Great Red Spot. Our first up-close view of the red spot was provided during the 1979 flyby of the Voyager 1 probe. This storm's complexity and the fact that the planet is home to numerous such lesser storms were also uncovered. We may also infer its direction of travel from this flyby. It's going against the clock. And we have never had a closer look at the great red spot than we did with the Juno mission. It came very close to Jupiter in 2017 and captured some fascinating pictures of the well-known storm. The Great Red Spot is not only enormous, but also deep, as we learned during this flyby. Astronomers are able to compare data on the Great Red Spot in the present to how it was approximately 100 years ago, because it's been observed since 1879. The region was roughly 48,000 kilometers wide at the turn of the 20th century. The region had a length of about 23,000 kilometers at the time of Voyager 1's arrival in 1979. It looks to be shrinking around the edge and getting smaller as well. The Great Red Spot was once recognized for its oval shape, but observations indicate that as it becomes smaller, the spot is turning more and more circular. It also appears to be flaking, according to amateur astronomer observations made in 2019. It shrinks by roughly 900 kilometers per year, and by the year 2040, it's anticipated to be circular if things continue this way. And that's going to end today's video. Hey, we hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in our next one. Have a great day and thank you for watching.